points. Number one, uh, I don't believe that it's ever been the policy of this city to want to find people for code enforcement for purposes of generating revenue. In fact, I think it's quite the opposite. If you've been in this city long enough to hear me speak anyway, code enforcement is one of my favorite topics because we've done such a poor job with it historically. I don't want to generate one penny of revenue from code enforcement as an elected official, as a public servant. What I would like to see happen is when code enforcement comes to anybody's property and says, look, you've got a couple of issues you've got to deal with, that you deal with the issues when you get the, the, the notice of violation. And if you can't deal with it within that time frame, then you need to raise your right hand, reach out to code enforcement and say, look, can I get some more time or can we work this through? But if you do those things and you make that proactive attempt to, to work with code enforcement, personality is notwithstanding. That's another discussion for another day. But if you go through that process, you will never end up in front of the magistrate. And if you don't end up in front of the magistrate, you can't be fined. Now, it sounds to me like you may have been given a citation. Commissioner uh, Maxwell, uh, he I, came in to, using foul to, language on the first visit. Sir, I would love to have that conversation with you outside, but, okay. uh, uh, but we can't have an exchange back and forth. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. It sounds to me like you have a citation. Uh, an on the spot, you owe so many dollars. That, just nod your head off <laughs> that one. We did implement a year or so ago a policy where there are certain violations, code violations, that you could be issued a ticket right there on the spot. Okay, so if that's what you're talking about, then maybe what Ms. Logan said earlier, maybe that's something we need to think about. I'm not saying we will, but maybe it's something to consider. You know, maybe, maybe the rule is, is too restrictive. But I don't know all the particulars, but I do want to, I just want you to know of you and anybody that's listening, we are not in the business to find people. I don't want your property. I don't want your property. The city doesn't want your property. We want everybody to cut their grass, keep the furniture off the front lawn, and things that aren't supposed to be on the front lawn in the backyard. So we have some curb appeal as we drive up and down each and every one of our streets. And if we can do that, our city will take a quantum leap forward in terms of our overall image and aesthetics and its desirability in terms of people investing in our community. If you have an issue with code enforcement, if you're concerned about the way you've been dealt with, then you can go through the city manager's office and, and go through the appropriate channels. I've done that. Okay. But I just, just for the record, you know, I don't want to see anybody be fined. And, and, and for the amount of money that we have on the books, to your point, the reason that money is on the books is because property owners historically have thumbed their nose at code enforcement in this city for years on end. And the only time we ever hear from them typically is when they have to sell their property or they want to buy a car or something and they can't because there's something on their on their uh, the public record that says they don't to the city of Lake Worth. So it's been a matter of convenience in many cases for property owners to do what they've done with their property. When they decide to get around fixing the property, then they'll fix it. And we need to change that culture. And we can change that culture by simply talking to each other and uh, working things out amongst ourselves without having to go before the manager in the first place. Thank you. And I agree with, with Commissioners Mulvihill and Commissioner Maxwell in regards to, you know, usually it's been the other way around. People, you know, crying out for more code enforcement, more code enforcement. So this is issue. I, I certainly will look into it um, now that you brought this to my attention and, uh, and have a conversation about it. But uh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I will get to the bottom of it and we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, in the meantime, like I said, we're, we're working hard. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of what we've been doing in code enforcement and some of the changes and things that have been implemented because, as, as Vice Mayor Maxwell said, <clears throat> we've sorely needed it. And um, so this is upsetting. So uh, I, as I said, I will look into it. Um, Old Bridge Park, you addressed, you addressed. So that's the good thing about going last. They addressed them all. <laughs> okay, good. Um, anything else, Commissioner? 